Hey everybody and welcome to my next um, puzzle video. It is a 70 piece puzzle and let me show you my smiling face before I get started. So anyway, this is, I'll, I'll, I'll just start unboxing it. Here's the box, here's the side. I think this says cumin or cumon. Um, and there's the back. It's a, it's imported from Thailand, uh, or it's imported from Japan into Thailand. And this is, um, I, I don't know how old this is. It could be from like the 80s or whatever. So um, when I first got it, I thought, oh hey, this doesn't belong in a store. This belongs in a museum. But. We're going to put the puzzle all together. So anyway, the whole reason that I um, am doing this puzzle so soon after the last one is that um, no, um, no bag, and really handily it has all the numbers on the back. So if you don't know how to put it together, then um, you can flip it all over and do it super, super easy and fast. So. Oh, so, so the whole reason I'm doing another puzzle is that my fans demanded it, or specifically a fan demanded it. Um, it was completely sarcastically, but I was asked to do another puzzle video, so here I am doing another puzzle video. So this one is 70 pieces. My last one was 300 pieces and took about an hour and a half. Um, since my last one, I found um, two other people that do li live puzzles like this. Um, neither of them really talk. So I'm still looking for some for a puzzler that talks and um, puts, um, puts pu puzzles together. So... And... And so this, uh, this for me is like the ideal puzzle. If, if this were a 1,000 piece puzzle, it would be like the coolest puzzle ever. But then I probably wouldn't be doing it on this video because 1,000 piece puzzles take like, um, I think they take me like eight hours to do, six hours maybe. Um, maybe more. Oh, and, and so that's um, part of why I'm doing this is to test out my theory. And my theory is that with um, that as the puzzle pieces as the number of puzzle pieces grow, then the difficulty and the length of time to complete the puzzle increases exponentially. So basically, what that means is that if you double a puzzle in size, then it should take you like four times uh, four times longer to do. If you quadruple a puzzle in size, then it should take you uh, like if you four times the puzzle size, then it should take you like 16 times longer or something um, something like like that. Probably everyone knows what exponential means already, so sorry if I'm re-explaining that. Um, okay, so... Oh, so my puzzle technique is to... Um, do it by color, not by the edge pieces first. Like almost everyone does, the, does the edge pieces first. But for me, it's faster just to start doing a interesting color or um, or something. So usually the interesting color I pick is red, but most of the pieces on this puzzle are red. So. It's a little bit tough to um, be able to find all the red pieces. Oh, and actually, I'm kind of doing this upside down, and um, just by the luck of the draw, and the, and the last puzzle I wanted to do, I wanted to do upside down, but that was my first puzzle when I was um, doing my um, doing a video and putting um, putting a puzzle together, and so. I didn't want to do it upside down because I had way too many like unknown factors about whether or not I could even do it or it would be cool or or what. 
And so let me try, yeah, because I'm already um, however many pieces into this, uh, I should be able to do the puzzle uh, upside down. So, so I'll do that. Oh, so, so back to my theory and what, what we're testing out here is the last puzzle was 300 pieces and it took me, um, it took me an hour and a half to put together. And then this puzzle is um, this puzzle is seventy pieces, and so if my if my theory is right, then if my theory is right, then this this puzzle should take oh and I sh I I, I kind of did the math before, but it should take. A lot, a lot less. So, um, three, uh, uh, an hour and a half divided by a hundred and an hour and a half divided by four. Or sorry, um, three hundred divided by seventy because this is a seventy-piece puzzle um, is approximately four. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's right. It's approximately four, like four point, four point something, and so then then what you basically do is divide, um, divide the um, divide. Oh, divide an hour and a half by four, and so an hour and a half. Divided by four is I'm I'm really bad at doing math and um, trying to talk or I'm trying to put the puzzle together at the same time. It looks like okay. So an hour and a half divided by four is about like twenty two minutes. So in theory. It, uh, if my theory is right, then I should be able to do this puzzle much quicker than 22 minutes, like sig um, significant, significantly quicker than 22 minutes. Um, okay. Oh, so uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was cumin or um, cumon, which is the um, learning, uh, learning style, and what this, um, uh, what this is, um, what I think this is in Japanese, or uh, this way, or this way, or oh, here it is, right here. So I think it's cumin, and and um, in Thailand, there's a cumin store in pretty much every mall. It's like this education, like if um, send your kids to get like um, extra, um, uh, um, like kind of a summer school kind of thing. So it's um, it's. I, I looked it up on Wikipedia and it's a really cool concept. And so if um, the actual um, if the actual way that that cumin operates is anything like what Wikipedia says that it is, then it's this really really cool um, learning system. So basically, what they do is they um, do do like an assessment test and then um, pretty much everything is custom made for the students and oh and I know I said that I don't put the edge pieces together but there's only one one left oh and so usually um, going back to my the way that I do puzzles is usually I try to not do what I just did, which is say, oh, I'm looking for this piece, and where is it? Because that just leads to frustration. So, anyway. And let's see. Oh, so, so back to the back to my time estimate. The um, 
back to my time estimate. So um, a couple things the other puzzle had going for it is that um, to make it easier was that it was a really easy puzzle. And then it, uh, in addition to it being easy, I had also done it before. So kind of, I need to um, lop a couple of points or add a couple of points on um, because uh, because it was easier. And then this one, uh, this one actually is also pretty easy. There are um, zero dead space or zero dead spaces or blank spaces. And yeah, this this would be awesome as a gigantic puzzle. Oh, and I love fire trucks, and yeah, this is like the coolest puzzle ever, but way too small. So, let's see. Oh, and see, um, see, um, see this puzzle piece. Um, I keep thinking, okay, this should be pretty easy to find who, who this is attached to. Um, oh, it's right, it's right here. But don't, um, don't give in, because then your, then it'll just take way, way too long to do the puzzle. Well, unless you like um, spending all day all night, all evening, all everything, um, doing the um, puzzle. Okay, so done, and that's 11 minutes and 48 seconds. So, um, so then, uh, basically, yeah, uh, um, if just using my two data points, then it's like an exact, like, um, double co um, cor um, correlation. So basically, if you, if you have a, a 600 piece puzzle should take you four times longer than a 300 piece um, puzzle. A 1,000 um, a 1,000 piece puzzle should take you exactly four times longer than a 500 piece puzzle. Okay, so um, quality wise, like like I, I used to do Amazon reviews for for puzzles a lot, and so uh, the box the box was interesting. It like every everything now has a plastic bag. I don't know why this didn't have a plastic bag. Maybe it's um, used before or but it looks it looks pretty new. So um, so I um, it's it's weird it didn't have a plastic bag, but. As I'm thinking about it, it's weird that every other puzzle has a plastic bag, so I'm not really sure why. Um, Quality-wise, it's really good. You can pick, um, you can pick it up. I'm going to try and pick it up, and um... okay. So then on the other on the other side, you can see that um, that this puzzle is numbered, and then this this is really really awesome for. Um, uh, especially since it's an educational puzzle, um, so that if you, oh, and, and did I show you the number before? So here's, here's a number, um, and it just says, it goes one, two, three, four, up to, um, 70. So it's, it's cool too, because you can verify that if there are actually 70 pieces. And most, uh, most puzzles actually aren't the number of pieces that they have. Like, I think the 1,000 piece puzzles are all like 1,004 pieces, and the 500 piece puzzles are like 502 pieces. Or, or something like that. Oh, and so, so my, uh, my big judge of is it a good puzzle is can you, um, can you pick it up? So, so this one, this one's a little bit tough to pick up. Oh. So anyway, um, it's um, and then for um, especially for kids, it's uh, they're really really good thick um, thick pieces. So this is an awesome awesome puzzle, and hopefully you liked it. And thanks very much. Hello there, everyone. Joseph Dewey asked me to ask you to subscribe to his YouTube channel. So I'm asking you to subscribe to Joseph Dewey.